We've got 21 minutes to sculpt your arms. Ready? Let's go. Hey guys, Cassie here. Today I've got an incredible 21 minute arm sculpting routine that is going to make your arms so sore but feel so strong. Now look, you know I love working my arms because I love carrying all my groceries in one trip, one trip only, I'm a one trip woman. And I also just love toning my arms. It just feels so powerful. So for today's arm routine, we're gonna be using weights. So right here, I have my weights from my Target collection. I've got the eight pound, the five pound, and the three pound. If you don't have any weights at home, it's totally fine. Just use a can of tomatoes, some water bottles, some wine bottles, whatever, okay? I will be doing a modification box right here in the corner of the video, so you will be able to still follow along and still tone your arms, even if you don't have any equipment at home. So we've got seven moves, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, and when you finish today's workout, make sure you check it off on your 21 day tone calendar. You haven't printed that out yet, go right here onto my blog, print it out or download the app and give yourself a huge check mark because you deserve it. All right, you guys, if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you this first move. So the first move is your shoulder press with lunge. So with the shoulder press here, what I want you to do is go ahead and bring your right foot in front, left leg in back. We're gonna do that lunge to so get a double whammy movement. What you're gonna do is come down to a 90, 90 degree angle. You don't need to touch the mat or the floor and you're gonna lift up arms all the way up, okay? So that's the motion. You don't wanna fully lock out the legs, keep a slight bend. Ready? Here we go. We're lunging here. We're lifting up, lunge and lift. Beautiful, so you wanna keep that chest forward, belly button in, shoulders away from the ears, okay? As you lift and lower. So this is really gonna get the legs, gonna get the booty, gonna get the arms all at the same time as well as work your core balance. Beautiful, keep lifting. Nice work. Man, I'm feeling those legs. Coming down and up. Almost there. And up. Okay, really good. Now we're gonna move on to the other side with our elevated bicep curls. So with the elevated bicep curls, I'm gonna still try to do this with the, uh, the eight pounders. You're gonna have the arms up like so. You're gonna bring them slightly out and come back in. Okay, make sure you switch the legs. We're here and then out. We're down and then slightly out. You don't wanna bring the arms fully straight, okay? Keep them slightly bent, but keep the elbows in line with your shoulders. Oh man, this is getting heavy. Whew. And up. Beautiful, keeping those shoulders away from the ears, elbows in line with the shoulders, chest up, belly in. Whew. I'm actually surprised that I'm starting to breathe a little bit hard, right? Because this isn't really cardio, but it kind of feels like it. <laughs> okay, now we've got reverse flies. So I'm gonna keep the eights with me right here. You can go ahead and um, go heavier, go lighter, whatever works for you, okay? So with these, your feet are gonna be together. You're gonna bend down as if you're skiing. Keep the chest open, back flat. Go ahead and bring the dumbbells together. Open and close. Open and close. Your eyes are gonna be gazing down on the floor. Okay, really important that your chest is open and your back is flat. We are working your upper back right here, okay? Making for better posture so that you can stand taller. You don't need to go fast with these moves. Just be very precise, okay? So look how my back is really squeezing right here. Good. And up. Oh. Okay, really good. Now we're gonna head into our tricep press back. So for this one, I'm gonna switch to my really lightweights, these cute little pink ones, um, because the press backs, 
you're gonna be intense with how many we're about to do. So same position here, except this time, you are going to simply press up, 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 up. There it is. Tiny little press max. Lift, lift, lift. These tiny little pulses, okay? Keep the arms straight, chest open, back flat. Good stuff. Keep lifting those arms yet. Arms up, up, up. Nice, eyes down on the mat, chest open. You're doing so good. Man, I'm surprised. My arms are gonna be so sore after this, for sure. It's just round one. Woo! Okay, really good. Now we head into our plank row. So, I'm gonna head back to my eight pounders, okay? And we're gonna come into our plank. You can be on your knees or on your toes, it's totally up to you. What I want you to do is make sure that as you're lifting your elbow up towards the ceiling that your hips are staying nice and square, okay? No hula dancing here. We're going to keep everything like a very precise and balanced plank board. Good, because that's gonna work your abs too, okay? Lift and lower. Oh man, you guys have been doing so good on your 21 day tone challenge. Okay, we're almost done. You gotta keep going though. We're gonna finish this strong. So I wanna see your transformations. And I'm not just talking external, I'm talking to everything. Whew. Okay, really good. Now, we're gonna go into prayer pulse. So we've actually have never done this with a weight before, um, but I want you to go ahead and pick a weight, doesn't matter, I'll pick the five right here. So with the prayer pulse, I'm gonna bring the elbows together just like so, okay? We're holding this weight. You're simply going to lift, 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 so it's the same thing that we've been doing before, but this time it's weighted, <laughs> which makes it so much harder. So you wanna make sure that the elbows are sticking together, okay? They must not come apart as you lift. Lift, lift, lift. Good, keep going, bring it up. This is working the shoulders, the biceps, the chest, okay? Sit tall, lift, elbows to the chin. Up, 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 whoo! Feel that? Come on. Oh man, okay, really good. Now we're on to our final movement. We've got your upright row. So I'm gonna go back to my eights. I'm gonna stand up tall. So when you're standing, give me a mini bend in the knees here, okay? And then you're simply gonna bring the elbows up and down. Notice how my chest Stays up and open, here and down. There you go, lift and lower. You don't wanna super lock out your legs here. You wanna have a little bend. You're even slightly um, forward with your body, just a little bit here so that you have space for the dumbbells to come down, okay? Lift up and down. Trying to get your elbows about shoulder height as you're lifting and lowering. Nice. I'm so glad we're lifting weights together. This is awesome. This is gonna be a good 2021. Okay, there you go. So you've just finished round one. We've got two more. Okay, so remember, we started out with those lunges and shoulder presses. So go ahead and bring that right foot forward. We're gonna do the same thing. Ready, here it is. Whoa, almost fell there. Down and lift. Lower and lift. Nice stuff. Okay, now that we've gone over all the form and the technique, we can talk about some fun stuff. Um, let's see, what do we want to talk about? Okay, so for the holidays, I don't know if you saw, but Sam actually bought me an ice cream maker, and oh my gosh, I am so so excited about it. I already made so many types of ice cream. The first night that I got it, I made four types, okay? Um, what did I make? Okay, let's finish this round, then I'll tell you. Whew! Okay, finish that. Okay, you guys, I made strawberry rhubarb sorbet. Um, I made sweet cream ice cream. 
We need oatmeal ice cream, and then switch your legs. This is the last one that I made. Okay, you guys are here, all right? Down in that lunge, lift, and then open the arms a bit. Keeping the elbows up, shoulder height, and slowly bringing those arms out. You do not need to straighten the arm. Okay, so what was the last one that I made? Oh yeah, I made frozen yogurt. I tried to be really healthy. I didn't follow the directions on this one, and um, well, that was, that was why it didn't turn out well, but I used 0% non-fat Greek yogurt along with monk fruit sugar, when I should have been using full fat yogurt along with real sugar, and well, let's just say it didn't taste that great. <laughs> Okay, that's really good. Now we've got reverse flies. So you are in that skiing position, keeping the chest open, back nice and flat, bring those dumbbells together, and we lift and lower. Up and down, okay? Again, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Your upper body is gonna look so strong after this. It feels so strong, but first, whew, we gotta push that weakness out of our body. Whew, come on, you can even bend down a little bit lower with that chest. That'll make it a little bit harder. Whew, nice work. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see you guys working out with these gold dumbbells if you can find them at Target. They are literally my favorite thing from the entire collection. Okay, tricep press back pulses. So I'm gonna to go to the pinks. Honestly, these are so cute. They're so cute. They're amazing for pulses. Okay, so legs together. We're coming down. Palms up. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Right there. Okay, squeeze your triceps. Keep the arms straight. Palms up towards the ceiling, belly button in. Um, yes, but back to the ice creams. Okay, that sweet cream ice cream, I found this recipe from like the New York Times. Straight up was amazing. Um, possibly too sweet, so I might cut down on the sugar by half. I find that American ice creams tend to be really, really sweet. Um, and then when you go to like Asian dessert shops, I find that those ice creams are a little bit less sweet. I don't know why, but I'm gonna try to decrease the sugar on those and see how I feel. Okay, good. Tricep, no, plank row, plank row. We just did the tricep. Okay, plank row. We are going back to the eights and grab it here. Okay, in your plank, let's go. No time wasted, up and down, and lift and lower. Nice, come on. Drawing that elbow all the way up, okay? And lift and lower. Good stuff. Abs in super tight, I want you to squeeze. I'm gonna keep those hips square to the floor. Being strong, you got it. Come on. We are going to be finishing out round two very, very soon. Okay, drawing it up and down. Okay, excellent work. Now we have our prayer pulse. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my five. You play around with how you want to hold this. Um, let me see how this feels. Nah, I like this one. Okay, elbows together and lift up, up, up. Now, elbow to chin, okay? A lot of times people say, I don't feel this, and it's because they're going down, down, down. I want you going up, up, up to really feel that upper body, feel the shoulders, feel the biceps, feel the chest. Lift. Oh man. How's your 2021 going so far, by the way? Um, I guess this year we kind of already knew what we're heading into a little bit, whereas last year was like, what? So I feel like we have new routines, um, a new normal, and we're just like, we're just living it, we're just doing it. Okay, good stuff. Finally, we're heading into our last move of round two. We've got your upright row. Back to the heavies here. Whew. Okay, so 
legs hip width apart, slightly bent here, and we are going to lift and lower. And lift and lower. Bring those elbows up to shoulder height, up and down. And lift and lower. Good stuff. Oh, you guys, should I add different weights to my weights collection? Should we go higher? Should we have smaller ones? Let me know in what colors the handle should be. I'm imagining there should be like a whole muted rainbow set, right? Like instead of red, we have like rust. Um, instead of yellows, we have mustards. Uh, instead of pinks, we have corals. So yeah, I think that'd be so cool. And down. Okay, great work. That was round two. We are heading into our final round. Our first move, you guys, is that shoulder press with the lunge. Go ahead and bring your right foot forward. Let's make it really good. Hands up. We are down and lifting and lower and lift. Let's get those shoulders. Let's make them look good. Lower and lift. I seriously love working my arms so much um, for many reasons, but I think I've told you before, some people, they see the most difference in their abs right away. You know, maybe some people in their face and their thighs. But for me, my arms and my shoulders are the first things to see a difference. I don't know why, it's probably just my genetics. Just like how my genetics give me a small butt. Um, but you know, I'm glad, glad my arms change and transform quickly. It's, uh, I appreciate that, I appreciate that a lot. But we've gotta accept everything about ourselves and just keep working towards our own best version of our potential, okay? Oh, what am I doing? Oh yes, we're right here. We're going to elevated biceps. So, down and out. I got lost in my own thoughts there. And bring it out, okay? This one is a very precise movement. I'm gonna bring it in and then don't straighten your arms, okay? That elevation allows you to not have to lift a super heavy weight, but still makes it feel really heavy because our elbows have to stay in line with our shoulders. <sighs> nice work. Beautiful, how those arms feeling? Can you give me one more? Woo! Okay. Oh, we got reverse flies. You're doing amazing. Man, my shoulders are feeling it, my biceps are feeling it. Okay, legs together in skiing position. We're coming down, flat back, open and close. Good stuff. Keeping that chest open, back flat. Nice work. Open and close. Again, you can lean down even more if you wanna feel your back even more. Open and close. Open and close. There it is. Let's stand taller. Okay, you look more confident. You look taller. You're gonna command any room, even if it's a Zoom room that you're in. One more, okay? Whew. All right, really good. Now we're gonna head into those tricep press backs. So I'm gonna grab these babies right here. They don't feel so baby after a while, right? Feet together, skiing position, and palms up. Lift, 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 lift. Lean down more if you can. Come on. Whew. Keep pressing the palms up. Booty, sitting back. Knees pressing together, heels into the ground. Okay, keep lifting. Your triceps are firing, are they? Good. Keep pushing through. We are gonna be done in just a few more minutes, so I don't want you to give up now. Okay, I know it's hard, but you're gonna push through. You're gonna press through. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, oh man, this gets so hard. You really gotta focus though. Okay, plank row, ready? Plank row, 
and hold on to my eights right here. Let's get in that plank position. Here we are. And lift it up and down. Elbows driving up. Abs in tight. Come on. You've got it. Right here. You're working the core. You're working your arms, your shoulders, your tricep, your back, everything in the upper body and even the chest by holding yourself up in this plank position, okay? We're gonna fight for that balance in our body. Breathe. One more. Very, very good. Okay, now into your prayer pose. Let's grab the five. Let's get up a little bit higher than you have, okay? You've got this. Holding the bottom and elbows in. Lift, lift, lift. <sighs> Breathing in through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, okay? Bring it up high, high, high. You seriously are doing so amazing. I know it's getting difficult, but after this move, after these next 20 seconds, you only got 45, 45 more seconds and that's it. Come on, lift, higher, higher, higher. Keep the elbows together, come on, keep them. You got it. Lift, focus, concentrate. Oh man, gets me every time, with or without the weight. Okay, final move, your upright row. Let's make this so good. All right, I want you to bring those elbows all the way up to your shoulders. Can you do that? All right, legs hip the apart, slight bend, and lifting up and down, up and down. By the way, you guys, my ponytail has gotten so long, look at this. This is from dyeing my hair my natural color so that I'm not having any breakage from lightening my hair, although I kind of want to dye my hair a little bit lighter. Should I do it? I don't know, I don't know. Because I've been dyeing my hair at home, it's really easy when you go darker. But when you have to go lighter, it's a whole nother situation. I really don't feel like seeing a hairstylist right now. I mean, I probably should, because I haven't even gotten my hair trimmed in a long time. But um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Should I dye my hair? Lighter, should I do something fun like a balayage? You let me know. And up, hold it, and down. All right, you guys, oh my gosh. You just completed your total arm workout. That was amazing. Can I see you flex? Can I see you flex? Wow, you are looking real good. Honestly, I'm super, super excited about the way our 21 Day Tone Challenge has been going. I've been seeing all of your updates on Instagram. I've been seeing you use um, the frames in the Body by Blogilates app. I'm so excited every time you complete your workout. Trust me, that check mark for you feels just as exciting for me when I get to see it too. And if you haven't already, make sure you have printed out the 21 Day Tone Challenge calendar or go in the app and give me that big check mark. Give yourself that check mark because you deserve it. Okay, you guys, we're very close to the end of the 21 Day Challenge, so make sure you are also going to upload your before and after photo because I will be picking three of my favorite transformations. And listen up, this isn't just about the physical transformation, it's about the internal, the emotional, the spiritual, everything. So I want you to post your collage, explain everything that you went through over this 21 day journey with the hashtag 21 day tone. And I'll be picking three winners to win a gift set from my blog, a for Target home gym collection. I can't wait to send that to you. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. You did amazing. And I will see you later for our next workout. Bye.